ANC Secretary General Ace Magischel's right-hand man has survived an attempt to poison him, a plot that has helped fuel a climate of fear in the free state, that those suspected of leaking information about Magischel will be dealt with. Chris Ackier, who was released from a Johannesburg hospital on Friday two weeks after being admitted, is the second person with links to Magischel to have been poisoned. Sandal Msaibi, a Magashul ally who was head of the Free State Department of Police, Safety and Transport, died in December 2017 after being poisoned. I thought it was just an allergy, Agir said after being discharged on Friday. I would not know what and where I had this, but it was confirmed that it was poison. Akia, from Bethlehem, has been close to Magashul since his time as Free State Premier and is Magashul's strategic manager at Luthili House. I am not out of the woods yet, but I'm getting better, quote he said. Akir declined to say if he had any suspicions about who might want him dead, or if he would open a case with the police. Fortunately for me, it was detected, but I can't really pinpoint what really happened. Glad that I survived, and I am home now, he said. Free state government officials say Akir is lucky to be alive. This poisoning was very quick, and he ended up in hospital in a very serious condition. He's lucky, here in the free state no one survives poisoning, one said. Msaibi died a slow, painful death after there were allegations of corruption that were leveled against him. He was not going to go down alone as the Hawks were investigating the allegations. The best way was to kill him, the source said. Msaibi was a senior official in several free state municipalities before joining the Safety and Security Department. At Msaibi's funeral in January last year, Magashul told Monas that Msaibi had been murdered. He said he and former Northwest Premier Sulu Pramashimapelo had sought help from the then President Jacob Zuma in arranging for Msaibi to be flown to Russia for treatment. Magashu said Msaibi died a few days after plans for the trip were finalized, but before he could get on the plane, Msaibi was being investigated for allegedly channeling millions of rands worth of provincial legal consulting contracts to his personal attorney. Another senior free state government official told the Sunday Times that some officials have been living in fear after being accused of leaking information to the media. ANC senior members including the SG would come to the province, and we would have late night meetings at his free state house, where we would be questioned about those who are leaking information, quote. This official said, this is getting scary. We are accused of leaking information to the media about the SG. We were told that individuals that are known were being investigated, and they would lose their jobs. The free state has turned into a very scary province to work in. We are called spies. Ignatius Agam Pambani, known as Magashul Spackman, was murdered in Sandton two years ago. He was allegedly connected to Magashul Vera R230 meters asbestos slush fund. Piper Lewis Mybach, in his recently released book Gangster State, quote sources in the free state close to Magashul are saying Akir was a fixer of sorts. Ace first brought Akir into the ANC to try and get more support from colored voters in the free state. Then he gradually started to work for Ace. Later he started doing Ace's dirty work. He would pick up money for Ace or do other things that Ace could do with the people from his official Blue Lights security team. According to the book, Akir denied the allegations. I am not the SG's fixo and I don't collect cash from other people on his behalf. Attempts to get comment from Magashul and his chief of staff, Justice Pitso, were unsuccessful by the time of going to print.